Felicity Blue Visits the Zoo by E.S. Redmond, read to you today by Gammy. All of the animals down at the zoo are snuffling and snorting and sneezing at you. The lions won't roar and the tigers just mew. The hyenas aren't laughing, they're crying boo-hoo. Zookeeper honestly hasn't a clue why all of the animals have a green hue. Their temperatures soar past 102 and they're sluggish and sleepy and slightly subdued. Let me tell you how all of this trouble ensued. It started one day with a trip to the zoo when a pale, sniffly girl named Felicity Flew wiped her red, runny nose without a tissue. Her fingers were sticky with green, gloppy goo when she reached out her hand to pet an emu. She left behind handprints of green residue on the llamas and the lizards and ostriches too and on the giraffe and the red kangaroo and on every monkey and elephant too. If you think that was bad, well, she wasn't quite through. She left tiny green handprints all over the zoo on the peacocks and penguins and pink cockatoos on flamingos and toucans and owls that blew on a blue-footed booby and rare jabberoo. She petted the panda who hid in bamboo and both mountain goats from the hills of Peru. She startled the zebra by obscuring his view when she covered his eyes and shouted, Guess who? When the clock by the exit read quarter past two, Felicity felt like she was finally through. The zookeeper smiled when she sniffled, Thank you not knowing she caused such a hullabubaloo. That's how it happened. Every word of it's true. Her cold got so big that they named it the flu. You may not believe me, but if I were you, I think I'd go bowling and not to the zoo. The end. We have so much more to learn. Be blessed.